Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to a new video. I wasn't really planning on filming this weekend, but here I am, we're doing it. It is Saturday today, and I'm just gonna film the weekend, it's gonna be real chill. It's currently like 10 o'clock. I woke up this morning at like 7, changed my bed sheets, I tanned last night, so actually I'm gonna show you guys that right now, I'll be back in a sec. This weekend I have to take some like important photos and things, so I decided last night that I'd tan just so I feel a little bit more confident with my pasty skin palette. I wanted to show you guys a tan I use, I have spoken about this before, but recently I've been tanning like probably like every one to two weeks, so I want to share with you guys a tan that I'm using. And that is this one, you would have seen me, if you've been around here for a while, you would have heard me talk about this before, it's actually very empty. It's from Eden Eye Body, so this is a New Zealand brand. And what I love about this is it's vegan, cruelty free, it's made in New Zealand, it's 99% natural, and it contains a shot of whiskey in every bottle, which I personally love that little note. When I was younger, my papa wouldn't, even my brother and I had like a graze or like whatever, he'd be like, put some whiskey on it, because it has like really good antiseptic properties in it. So when I saw this and saw it had whiskey and I was like, <laughs> Damn, they're onto something. What I also love about this is that it doesn't smell. Like, you know how when you apply some other tans, you get that funky smell? This doesn't have that funky smell. You also notice it doesn't have like a pump on the top because you just like get the mitt, things like that, and then you just like revolutionary, less plastic as well. With that, there are a few other products from the same company that I want to share with you guys. So the first is the before body scrub. And you apply this 10 minutes before you hop in the shower to do like your body shape before you apply the tan. You can do this like without applying the tan as well, but it just helps prep your skin and it makes it so soft and so smooth. It's just like a gentle exfoliator. And then after I get out of the shower, I've actually been doing this like every day. I used to do it heaps in the summertime when my legs were like actually not hidden away in pants, but I've been doing it more recently because my skin loves it and you can tell that I also love it because I am, um, yeah, it's, it's a well-loved bottle. It used to say after, and then I used it a lot, and then it rubbed off. But yeah, this is called After Sun, so this is a body oil. So I apply that as soon as I get out of the shower, once my skin's dry, and then I go over it with Always Glowing, so this is the body moisturizer. And all of these have a whiskey cow scent as well. Such an amazing New Zealand brand as well. You guys may have also heard me say this, but on the Boss Babes TV show that was on, it was on TVNZ one like last year but it's also on demand i watched it last year during lockdown and got a little bit addicted and then found out about eden eye and that's how we're here today also if you want to get your hands on any of the eden eye stuff i do have an affiliate code which is emma 10 for 10 percent off so if you want to check that in feel free no pressure but if you want go for it so yeah last night i tanned and then i washed my sheets this morning because i always do after i tan i kind of like tan once a week and then wash my sheets once a week so it kind of all works out together yeah i had a really yummy breakfast i want to show you guys i have a breakfast really shortly because it was so tasty um, um, and I also put on some artificial nails. I'm trying some new ones. I have a uni ball in a couple weeks because since I play guitar, I can't get like actual proper artificial like fake nails, like acrylics, because I'd have to like take them off like the next day, um, which is a waste of money. But these are only ten dollars. So I'm gonna go show you guys what I had for breakfast this morning because it was so tasty. I went to the food show in Auckland on Thursday with my mum. And we go like every year, and it's really cool to be able to find like new, different, exciting foods. And I found some really yummy yogurt. I have had the ice cream before, but I found some yummy yogurt, so I'm gonna go and show you guys. Alrighty, so about my breakfast. I had this yogurt, which I'm pretty sure it's like a standard one you can just get in supermarkets. It's a little island. It's made from coconut cream and cashew milk, so it's actually dairy free, which is great because your girl, I don't like to talk about this much because it's not really something you want to talk about on the internet, but I have very cute IBS, um, standing for irritable bowel syndrome. I'll let you decide what that means. But yeah, dairy doesn't always go down well, so this is a great alternative. They also do really good ice cream as well. When I used to be actually properly dairy free, like a couple years ago, I used to get the Black Forest ice cream. So good. This homemade granola that I made like ages ago, I, I make it from scratch. Um, I'll chuck the recipe in the description box to remember, but you guys would have seen this on my Instagram before if you followed me on my story. I started making it during lockdown last year and now I just make it all the time. It's great. It makes a whole heap and then this is probably like half of what it makes and it keeps for ages. While I'm here, I'm just going to do a little haul of everything else that I got from the food show. We'll start with Farrah's. So I actually originally found out about Farrah's that do like the wraps and stuff at the food show literally like 10 years ago. So I got a crispy chicken taco kit which comes with the tortillas, the spice mix and some chipotle and lime mayo sounds great gonna be a really good flat dinner and then i got a nacho spice mix and a taco spice mix both mild great oh my mummy's calling hello Alrighty, i will see you shortly right i need to go meet my parents so i want to really quickly show you everything these 
crispy rice cloud. You can get these in like the health food section of Countdown. This bacon nays is like bacon flavored mayonnaise. So good. They were actually doing market research when we were there about this new basil pesto mayonnaise they want to bring out. Tried some, so they gave me a free bottle for participating in some market research. These sweet potato cracker bites. I um, also had some beetroot ones, but I sat down on the couch and ate them all last night, so that's cool. I got this free little bumper bar, actually, to give it to Owen. And then I got these reusable bags. They're from this place called Eco Lux Living. I'll actually link them down below if I can find their website. The sweetest girl was selling them and I actually went up to her because no one was going up to her store. I'm like, why is no one going up to her? Like her products look so good. And so I bought these for 15 bucks to support her. Also got these. These are Kuma Rosties and these are pumpkin and spinach burgers, which I'm going to, you can see they look so good because we've got two vegetarian flatmates. So chuck them in the air fryer, does the job. And um, yeah, I'm going to do burgers for dinner this week with the burger bits. And one last thing. So you guys know, I don't drink alcohol. It's not for any reason other than the fact that I just don't like alcohol and what it does to people. It's not because I'm like Christian or whatever. It's just literally because I just don't like what it does to people. It doesn't bother me at all. I don't feel pressured to drink in any way. But you know, if there's an alternative, I love a good beverage. Love kombucha. So that's great. But these. We're at the food show. You may or may not have seen these before. They're by, I don't even know what the company's called. I think it's AF, which stands for alcohol free. Deceiving, I know, but it's alcohol free, trust me. And they're alcohol free gin and tonics. I don't know what gin and tonic tastes like, but these taste like cucumber, like a refreshing fizzy drink. I wasn't looking for an alcohol alternative. They just literally tasted so good. And I was like, well, here we are. I now need to drive to meet my parents. They're going on a five week holiday. So I'm not gonna see them for ages. They're in the camper van. So I'm about to meet them in Gordington, which is just out of Hamilton. So they don't have to come all the way into Hamilton to see me. I went home for like a night and I left my pillows at home because I only have like two pillows. So I have to use them in Hamilton. And when I go home, I take them home to Ham Auckland and then I bring them back to Hamilton. I forgot to bring them back to Hamilton. So I'm gonna meet them to get my pillows off them. So let's go for a little road trip. <laughs> Hello. Hi, how are you? Good. Got my pillows. So you don't forget. Time to hit the road? Yep, where time to hit the road. Where are you going? Uh, not too sure. <laughs> he doesn't know where he's going. <laughs> you can tell that you made the itinerary. I oh, know, we're, we're going to Palmerston North to see the bridges tonight, but not too sure. And the next day we're going to catch the ferry. <laughs> and then what happens after that? Lenham. Yep. Then into Christchurch, Kaikoura. Yep. Get some fresh crumbed uh, blue cod. Yeah. The best blue cod we've had mm -hmm. in New Zealand. Then Christchurch. And then uh, down south somewhere. <laughs> then, he, then he doesn't know. Then he really doesn't know. What's flexible? It's counting flexible. on counting on mum. It's, it's counting on mum and counting on your moon phases. Yeah, it's flexible. Yeah. It's flexible. <laughs> it's because you've got nowhere to be. Right, well, enjoy your trip. And I'll see you in uh, five, six weeks. Yeah. Back home and I'm just getting this week's video ready to go up. It's actually uh, 10 past 12, but I'm a little bit disorganized this week and that is okay. Just trying to work on the thumbnail, but <laughs> if you're someone who works with like big files and like design stuff, you will be very aware of this message. Every designer's worst nightmare. So I need to let my video export and then there'll be enough space on the scratch discs for me to actually do other stuff, so. Yay. It is lunchtime and I want to cook up these Kuma Rosties I got from the food show. At the food show like, you could get two of any of their like, range for $12. Normally they're like $9 at supermarket, so I really made the most of that deal. Alright, it may be over two hours late, but we have the video. We've got it on public. We're gonna hit publish. 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 Hello guys. This arrived yesterday. And I'm gonna undo it right now. We have an Udi! I have actually been working with Udi for like, since the end of 2019. So I have a discount code which is Emma Stevens 30, which I think is still valid, but they've given me a new code, which I also put on the screen for you guys. They're so, so yummy. I highly recommend they're available. I first saw them at the Mad Butcher, ironically. Um, but yeah, they're available at normal supermarkets. We have had a slight outfit change just to be a little bit warmer. It's time to go watch some football. We've got the docks, we've got the bed socks on my other hand. I'm not risking being cold. The last time Owen played that I went to his game in Hamilton, it was pouring down with rain, the water got into my shoes, and then you know what happens when water gets into your shoes, you get so cold. So um wearing my puddle stomping shoes today. So let's go watch some football. <laughs> Good evening folks. 
Banks. I'm here with my children, Owen and Danny. They're watching TV. They're watching Outer Banks because it came out yesterday, season two. Yeah, last night. So they watched it last night and they're back watching it again tonight. But dinner's happening. I'm making burgers. So we've got chips cooking. We've got buns buttered. We've got patties ready to go into the air fryer in like five minutes. Oh, the patties I'm cooking are the ones that are the same brand as the Kuma Rossi they have for lunch. Also, Rachel's parents have come over because it was her birthday in the middle of the week, so they've come over for lunch or for dinner with her. They brought us avocados and so kiwi fruit. Avocados. And dinner is served. How good does it look? I put some of this bacon naze on it. So good. And Owen's got two. He's just on the phone. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday, and today, or this morning, I'm heading off to watch Owen coach. He's coaching his little under 12 boys. So I'm going to go watch that. Really vibing with my OOTD today. Rachel's here. EGS Apparel, that's what we like to see. Anyway, I wear EGS Apparel as well. This is the original crew. There's still two of these left in size large, so if you want one, now's your last chance because once they're gone, they won't be restocking. Um, got the classic Katmandu puffer, A brand jeans, the vans that I'm pretty sure everyone owns and everyone thinks that they're kind of not trendy anymore, but I think they're cool, so that's all that matters. But I'm going to go watch some football. I'm very excited. It is a beautiful day outside, so let's go. Hey, vlog. It's me. We're at the petrol station. Emma's getting petrol for a car. That's the thing. We're getting the groceries. She said vlog, and I don't know how to vlog, so this is terrifying. Thanks. <laughs> That's a thumbnail right there. That's so cute. Oh, hello. <laughs> hey, up here. Baxter. Mom. Baxter. Mom. Hello, guys. It is now 3 o'clock. We are home. And we can't bear in groceries. We went into our weekly shop. We've got a real mixture of stuff here, so we'll just do it a little time lapse. It is a little while later, and I have vacuumed and mopped the whole house, cleaned my bathroom, and vacuumed my room as well. But it's time to take some photos because. Don't think I've shown this yet in this vlog, but we have some new EGS apparel coming. So I don't know. I haven't actually decided on a launch date yet. I think it'll be it'll be definitely be after this video's come out. So if you're watching this and you want updates, go to EGS Apparel's Instagram because that's where they all take place. But yeah, we have matching tracksuits, very cute. They just have the original EGS Apparel logo with established 2020 on them. These have been in the works for a very long time. I actually designed these in my marketing lecture last semester. So yeah, if you're wondering what I do at uni, I don't do much uni. Just kidding, I do, it's fine. There's the white marl gray set, which is this one with the pink embroidery. There's also this color, has the white embroidery on it. I haven't actually decided on like prices and things like that yet. There will be like a discount if you buy both the top and the bottom. But if you buy them separately, they'll have their own individual prices. I need to go take some photos for these to go on the website. And I have to go to church in 20 minutes, so let's go and do that. It is time to go to church. I'm going to pick up Owen. This is the outfit of the night. It's all from Princess Polly. Anyway, let's go praise God. This is delicious. Home from church and it's dinner time. Morgan's made curry with quinoa. How good. It is quarter past nine. Taylor and I just meal prepped. Wow, that makes it sound so fancy. We meal prepped a whole bunch of veggies for the week to take for our lunches and stuff. I also tried to meal prep some quinoa, but then I also ran down the hallway and did other stuff in my bedroom and then came back and it was burnt. I haven't been to the gym in like nearly two weeks because, which is odd for me, I normally go every morning, because I've been sick and I needed all the energy that I could possibly get my hands on to help cure my cold, and it worked. So it's fantastic. So I wanna go to the gym in the morning. Looking forward to it, it's gonna be great. But I'm gonna close it off here. Thank you guys for watching. Stay safe, stay well, make someone smile. And we'll see you in my next video. We're gonna be able to sell a dog. Hello guys, it's not three. It is. Yeah.